one well, it's just 11 hours and 20 minutes 20 minutes into the 21st day, I think. I can check right here. I guess the 21st day of uh, uh, May. Yeah, I'm right. It's Friday, May 21st. Anyways, we've got uh, two package openings to go through. Here's the one and the thicker one. So. Let's get to that. Oh, I enjoy package openings. Uh, I like to see when other people get package openings. So I don't know what it is. I guess just because even though you know you know you order the stuff, and I said before, my stuff isn't exactly. Uh, <laughs> uh, Just sort of like you know, toys, but the, they're items for work, they're items for a number of different things. Oh, okay, good. This is what I've been waiting for. It's the headlight, a little smaller than I, expe than I expected it to be, but this will be sufficient for the scooter. Uh, I, I was able to get um, light to work again. Uh, there was a connection issue, and just tapping on the uh, on the front lens uh, cleared up the issue. So no more issue in terms of uh, the uh, terms of the uh, light. So I've got that. So this will be an extra one. There's a third on the way. Well, there's well, yeah, a third light or another headlight on the way. Wanted to see how things would end up working out, so I ordered from two different companies. Sometimes that's uh, the way things get done, is that you have uh, you have to order from two different companies to see how things end up, you know, which one is the better product. Sometimes they're equally the same. They're, they're not, I, I, no, one is not better than the other. Okay, let's get this out. Okay, we've got that out. And so there's that on that package. I'm pretty sure this is going to be a hot air gun. That's what I ordered. So we will see uh, what this is. Just gotta get that tape off. And yes, it's the hot air gun that I ordered. This is it right here. And it's the proper uh, American cord. So there it goes, the proper uh, 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 North American uh, power cord. Here's the... Uh, stand for it, and this is uh, what it looks like and I wanted it to be small and it is it's very small very portable uh, that's why I got it the way it got uh, it provides an alternative to the heat gun let's say you have an application where you don't want to apply heat directly uh, let's say you want to melt the glue and glue something together sometimes you can't heat the part up but you can heat up the glue and melt it, and then using a stick or whatever or some other instrument, you can apply the glue, almost like a brush type of situation, uh, to whatever you're going to glue, and it will end up gluing it together. So uh, I think this is a great idea, and that's why I got it. And I got it, I think, I got it for, for, for like uh, uh, 10 $15, so not a bad purchase. Anyways, uh, that's it for now, and uh, I'll probably see you uh, later on in the day. I'm going back to bed. 
Uh, I did uh, my gaming and uh, med meditation. And uh, so everything's done for now. And uh, see you later. Well, it's 10 past 4 on the 24th of May, I think. Let me check the time and date. Because I do have a device here I can do that with. Yeah, the 24th. I was right about that. And it's four hours and ten minutes into the day. It's one of these one of these things. Once again, is that where my day is oscillating. I, I went to bed around midnight. Uh, got up one thirty. Then got up again at uh, two thirty, and decided to stay up and have something to eat. And that's what I did. I had a bowl of cereal. Uh, watched some vlogs. And now I'm on my way back to bed uh, to see what happens there. I've got the things that are going on while in my sleep that I'm still sort of working on. Uh, I'm into another deep dive again. This is on uh, sort of the history of philosophy. Philosophy actually covers a large num a large uh, area and has a heavy impact on. Um, the way the world is today, and this is if you heard me talk about Dostoevsky, well, this sort of connects into Dostoevsky, and sort of Dostoevsky gives you a sort of an overview uh, of the things that evolved from the 1800s forward and gives us the world that we have today. Uh, one of the person he connects to uh, the I went to take a look, and I had I've done I did a look at him prior to this, but now this is something more in depth, and particularly looking at Voltaire. Voltaire strikes strikes me as the person who became famous for almost no reason. Most of his work is basically taking somebody else's work and rewriting it. But he did it as plays. And he was making fun of them. But yet, this became popular because uh, at the time, this is where uh, women would have their, their academic salons, they'd have their discussions in their social hours, where however they had, uh, however they had them. And he would be invited to speak and he'd give his, his talks and do his plays and whatever. And what became, it became extremely popular because he was a, anytime you wrote something, you had to have the authority of the crown. The crown had to write a letter and sort of approve of what you said. In other words, things couldn't simply be said, it couldn't be printed, it had to have the authority of the crown, of the king. Uh... This was why free speech actually emerged in the United States is because there were was a period where speech was authorized. They, they, this is typical standard. But anyways, he did it without having the license, without having the letter of approval, and it became something known as a, these were illegal gatherings. <laughs> they were illicit affairs. And they became extremely popular because these were things you weren't supposed to be doing. These were things you weren't supposed to be reading. These are the things you weren't supposed to be talking about, yet they were talking about it. And so it made your academic salon, your salon in terms of your parlor, and the guests you invited, it was the talk of the town. Because you did things that other people weren't doing. And that's his entire claim to fame. The, the, most of his work, in terms of the ideas he put forward, weren't his own ideas. There was somebody, somebody else's idea. He, he simply took them and, re, and rearranged the sentences. Well, to me, that's not something that's... Uh, anyways, I forgot to turn the speaker off. I'm going to have to return that back on again. But anyways, it, 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 it's something that Uh, really isn't supposed to be happening. But it does. And there's a large chunk of history. People who pop up in, in historical places, in many cases, they don't deserve it. They're bringing forward somebody else's work. 
and this is where where I will be going through and sort of getting the ev the evidence of this, and showing how a lot through his through history. And this is something that Lionel LeBron doesn't bring up. That history is is filled with fakes, filled with fraud, filled with deception. And this is the way we've lived for a long time. And so, what's going on today isn't anything really new. It's just simply a rewriting uh, or a new version of what was before. And so the way out of it is going to be something that we've seen from history, but with a slight adjustment or a slight twist to it. Uh, anyways, i got to go fix the sound system for the, uh, for the um, well, what you call it, for the TV. I forgot to turn it off, so it turned off on its own. I gotta go to the sound bar and turn it back on again, and then uh, turn it off again with a remote. And that will keep it. Uh, right now, the remote doesn't work because the bar has turned off on its own. Uh, <laughs> that's the way things work. So I'll see you in a couple of hours. Uh, and if you don't, if the vlogs aren't here. On our life as Cyborg Alpha, it's always on. It's always there's there's always a vlog, also at the on, on the ride vlog. The ride vlogs are are almost daily now, so you can go check that out as well. Well, it is fourteen hours and uh, thirty minutes into the twenty fourth day. Of May, we're back filming our transition points once again. So, uh, that's uh, something pretty good. Uh, get the camera frame right. There we go. Uh, getting things centered. Doing the vlogging does uh, present a bit of a chore. You have to. <clears throat> you have to remember. Uh, to uh, vlog at the transition point, but uh, that are, doesn't always occur, and the conversation isn't always there. It depends on what's going on through the mind, and right now there's a number of things going on through my mind, not necessarily anything specific. Uh, the dreams are, I would say, pretty typical. They're still, they're still within the issues. Uh, that I'm still struggling with. And... It's just how they're presented. It's how, how you manage to deal with different things. There were some successes and there were some failures. And that's the way it always is. It's... it's And there's no way around it. This is something you have to go through. These are some of the experiences you have to have in order to do something uh, that is uh, sort of extraordinary. We have the hiccups now. Uh, and so this is the transition point. Uh, not, sorry, not much to say. I've got about a half hour of gaming to do. And some meditation. And then uh, after that, I'm going to head on out to my parents' house. And uh, the rest of us are going to be a ride vlog. We'll see what happens when I get home. Uh, the the work on Voltaire is still on my mind. I'm still going through that. Voltaire is kind of an, an odd type of person. And as I said before, he's... A person who became famous for no particular reason, other than his work was basically illegal. Uh, at the time when, uh, if you wanted to publish something, you had to have permission from the from the uh, from the from the crown, from the from the from the royalty. Uh, without a letter of approval, you could not publish anything, or anything that was published in your name or that you published was considered to be illegal. But so people did that anyway. They published, even though uh, they didn't have permission to, and they risked being arrested. But at the same time, being illegal made you famous. 
everyone wanted to see why was this thing so illegal. And this was uh, Voltaire's claim to fame. But Voltaire sits at the corner of, of, of what they call the reform movement. Uh, this is what, pro what produces the Democrats, this is what produces the liberals, what, what uh, Lionel LeBron says is no real left, because everyone, everyone sort of compares it to, to uh, Karl Marx. But Karl Marx wasn't the beginning. Voltaire wasn't really the beginning. And it really wasn't much of anything. Uh, and this is why... <clears throat> This is why the left is so fundamentally confused. Is that is there's there's really nothing there of what Voltaire actually did. He simply paraphrased other people's work. Uh, primarily, he he always went back to Newton. Uh, so claiming his stuff was uh, claiming his stuff was science, and this was what reality was, but it wasn't the case. And so it's amazing to see how one guy uh, who did almost nothing became so famous to the point where uh, it sits at the foundation of a lot of things that we see today. So any of the LGBTQ, uh, feminists, a lot of these uh, groups had their uh, sort of birth, their, their, their seed, uh, come from Voltaire. And so, although he didn't do much of anything, uh, he non nonetheless became very famous. So, anyways, that's our transition point. Uh, it's time to get up. I'm <laughs> doing this slowly. It's uh, Victoria Day here in Canada. We're celebrating the the birthday, sort of, of Queen Victoria. And... Uh, it's time to sort of move forward. Well, to illustrate the issues uh, that I have with vlogging, uh, it's not that I don't want to vlog, and this is not the end of the vlog, but it's explaining a particular issue that I've had a hard time vlogging. It is uh, uh, one hour and 14 minutes into the 25th day of May, uh, I'm not going to bed yet. I'm not transitioning there yet. I'm going to be doing a YouTube show for about an hour till about maybe 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. Uh, I've got some stuff to work on in terms of the deep dive of Voltaire. Uh, and sort of the the emergence of called modern or western philosophy. Because there is a postmodern philosophy as well. Uh... I got back uh, just about uh, 11, 11 o'clock at night uh, on the twenty on the twenty fourth. That's just a couple of hours ago. I did some gaming, some meditation, and then I came here. But how do I? How do I? Because it's two separate days, the the twenty fourth and the twenty fifth. How do I vlog that? How do I, this is what has to be understood? Is that my day does not fit within a 24-hour day chunk, there's often overlaps and sort of uh, things will go one way or sometimes they'll, go, sometimes they'll go shorter, sometimes they'll go longer. It really depends on the amount of work that has to be done during the day. What, what, what I call my day, when I'm awake, that's what determines the time periods. And the thing is, is that it does present a difficulty in terms of vlogging is because I may not be available to vlog at a time when I should be vlogging simply because the capacity to vlog at that time isn't there. And so the question is, well, what do you do in that case? And so th this is what this does. I've taken uh, a few a few minutes out of the time out of my time uh, in the transition to do a vlog here. I wasn't going to vlog because, well, it's, it's just so early in the morning. It, it's it's uh, just one hour and 15 minutes into the day. But the thing is, is maybe that's what has to happen, even if it's going, going to be short or, or, or very uh, shortly within the day, uh, you know, before the other part of the vlog is, the other part of the vlog is part of the right vlog now. 
that's off onto, so onto its own vlog, so you can see that over there. Uh, so maybe this is what has to happen if you can't vlog right away because I ended up sitting outside for about an hour or so till I didn't come back in to my unit to sort of sit outside. Sort of, I like the outdoor environment even at night. Uh, so I just sort of sit up there, and I sat up there till just about midnight, uh, 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 twelve thirty, and then I came in and did my work. Uh, you know, the meditation and the gaming. So is it, it it causes a shift uh, in how I schedule things out. It's not going to be twenty four hours, so there isn't a twenty four hour day, so to speak. There isn't really a break between between different points in my day and so what the entire week ends up being a day in terms of the overall structure of how things end up working out but as I said it's a complicated thing this is something you have to sort of see in order to understand what's going on is that there is an when I say yesterday let's see a mental block saying the time I was awake before that I had taken a nap, maybe three, four hours. And I consider the time before the nap the day before. When it really isn't a full day, it's just simply the period before I transitioned from from uh, from awake to sleep. And so, it's a, again, it's, it's a reference to a transition period rather than a full 24-hour day. And I think this is what has to happen in terms of Getting the vlogging done is that there I have to find points to insert a vlog, even though it may not be the optimum point to uh, to vlog to do what I can when I can, and that way fill up the schedule uh, that presents itself as a twenty four hour vlog uh, in such a manner. You know th th this is the way it's done. We'll see how we'll see how it ends up working out.